sticking through that commercial break. You guys are not going to want to miss our next guest because he founded the Community Kitchen, which is not only a family of healthy restaurants, but it's also a nonprofit that helps build community gardens all across the country. But don't worry, because this doesn't like, it sounds like some hippie stuff, but the truth is he's also an amazing tech entrepreneur on top of it. One of the original investors in PayPal and now sits on the board at Tesla Motors, Chipotle, and SpaceX. Put your hands together for the man, the myth, the legend, Kimball Musk. Come on, Kimball. Hey. What up, my friend? How's How you doing? Life? All right. Well, you ready for the challenge? You, you betcha. Did? Yeah. Have you practiced in this? Have you even started? Uh, they, they gave me about a minute. Let me let me see. I'm not sure if I can do the, uh, the around you the world. Long legs. Yeah. All right. Because you got to oh. get this for that certificate. That's the new thing. Well, you guys think? Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Only jokes. There we did it. Nice. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Well, uh, tell us what it's like to be cool. Well. Uh, I gotta, first of all, I got to give you a hard time. Okay. Easy. What is up with the styrofoam cups? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a bar. It's a bar. <laughs> I mean, Too I think project. in the 90s we stopped using these. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, it's a, it's a challenge we can now uh, reach up to and try to do better than that. Okay, okay, so let's talk about this kitchen community, sure. right? I really like, there, there's two aspects. Let's talk about the health food first and why you created the, the restaurant. Uh, the restaurants are, uh, we're based in Colorado. We have one in Chicago. We're going to open a, a few others around the country. The idea is we work with, uh, with local farmers. Uh, we've been doing it for, I uh, say, 11th year now, uh, helping build up a lo local farm economy, focus very much on the farmers. And, you know, in Colorado right now, we're the, the largest buyer of local farm produce in the state. Oh, that's good. Okay. And we hope to do that in many other, many other cities bringing just a food that's better for you and that, that is from your local community to, to your table. Yeah. Um, did you go through a time like where you didn't eat healthy and then you kind of went into it or have you just always loved the thought of... You know, I, I think I've always loved good food uh, and then the food just started... This, the whole food system started to kind of not be that great in the 90s and I started to worry more about what I was putting in my body. But I mean, when I was growing up, I didn't really stress out. Even you know, McDonald's in the 80s was, was generally, I think, a pretty good product. And it just kind of, over the past 20 years, the whole GMO, chemical oh, really? farming just went off the, off the charts. Because I was wondering, like, how much should we be believing some of that stuff? Like, I mean, is it is that the product chain itself, like, where you get frustrated? Like, are they saving money and putting worse and worse products? Or is this, like, really, like, about the way they're grown? Well, no, I think it's, um, I mean, I, I, I like the, the, the general idea of capitalism. But when it's, when it's uh, sort of capitalism gone wild... Uh, well, you pretty much have an, just an enormous amount of chemicals being put into our food today, enabled by GMOs. Fundamentally, GMOs, I don't think are that bad, but just um, if it's designed to allow much, much more chemicals, then it's bad. Right. So right. If, if you look at the same corn we, we grew in the 90s, the GMOs were added, and there are now 20 times more chemicals used for, with corn. Mm. So, like, that's just Right, right. Just, that's just getting really a little bad. bit out of control, right? That's just really bad. Uh, what about, like, the immunity? Like, I always read about this, sort of, like, the reason we shouldn't use too many antibiotics. Same thing. Like, too, you Similar kill too thing, many yeah. bugs, and they get stronger. Yeah. Like, is, I mean, do you think that's actually causing a problem, or do you think that's more... Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a scientist on, on the antibiotic side, but there's no question that the, the volume of <laughs> antibiotics is extraordinary. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, there's an article on medium.com that, that came out today about the, the possibility of us not being able to use antibiotics in the future. And uh, I think actually McDonald's on, a, on the really good side, they just made a huge move to not allow antibiotics in chicken that is the same antibiotics you use in, in, in humans. I mean, it's a no-brainer that they should do that. Right, but, but they have been not, they yeah. have been they've been allowing that for for two decades. Yeah, so I mean, it's pretty messed up. Okay. Well, moving on to like the community part. So like that's all you know a, a big part of a lot of the investments around here and a lot of the different entrepreneurs that move here. They love the thought of focusing on sort of people first. And it sounds like something you were trying to do with your kitchen. Could you explain sure. what community meant to you? Well, let me tell you. Let me say a, a really nice story about downtown. Uh, the old, or the new, new old. How do you? Oh yeah, no, a story about us and yeah, how great we are. Yeah, about you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Who wants to hear a story about how great we are? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, do you guys call yourself the old downtown really or the new downtown or just uh, the downtown? Uh, yeah, just middle downtown. Okay. Oh, we're new, yeah, new, new downtown. New downtown. All right, great. So, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm promoting a, a, a shoe which will launch in about ten days. That will, if you buy the shoe, you'll get sort of uh, fifty dollars will go to our nonprofit, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. But I, I go to Zappos to uh, Tony was a gracious enough to promote the shoe for us. 
and uh, and I'm waiting in the lobby, and this guy, really nice guy, comes up to me, and says, "You need your sneakers cleaned." <laughs> and really? I was like, "That I don't He's think I've ever heard anyone talk to me oh, about my sneakers day. before." Yeah. And he said, "Yeah, you bought your black sneakers with your white soles, and your your soles aren't white enough." I was like, okay, what's going on now? I'm literally, I think there's a candid camera going on. And he's like, see, right. that's over there. That's my shoe stand, and I'm going to clean your shoes for you. And I, right. and I sat there for five minutes. Well, he talked to me about downtown Vegas, and he w polished my shoes. And, and these are sneakers. They're not like regular shoes. Like, what are you going to do with them? Yeah. And he's like, you've got to fix those shoes. And he fixed them for me. See, that's so cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that is awesome. That All was right, downtown but Vegas. Shoe guy. We'll send it to him. <laughs> no, I did, you know, like when I would tell friends to come here, what I would say is I would say, like, go to, the, like, earlier, especially when it was a little bit more compact, I'd say, go to the beat and, like, eavesdrop on some conversations. And if these are the kind of people you want to chat with, this is the city for you. You know, like, as you're yeah, right, cool. it, it takes a lot of those moments. So that's really cool. Um, okay, so you, yeah, oh, so let's talk about the garden. The community yeah, sure. gardens are the coolest thing. Yeah, so we, yeah. We, we, we build these learning gardens. They're, they're, they're outdoor learning environments. Uh, they, uh, they're about 2,000 square feet. They're science-oriented uh, uh, school gardens where you'll grow carrots, peas, uh, lettuces, and so forth, and you'll learn science through that process. And it's pretty amazing. I mean, we're able to, we're now working, I think, 223 schools around the country and we'll hopefully hit 300 by the end of this year. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and over 100, and currently over 120,000 kids. So the kids get to go plant the seeds. They learn they about the, the science. Seeds, they it. understand the science around that. But there's, so much, there's everything from volume of water to how the pioneers survived when they came to America to uh, journaling and understanding oh, how things cool. grow with each other. I mean, it's pretty pretty amazing number again, how many so we have uh, we have 223 right now okay we, we're building uh i think three to five a week gosh that's so neat okay and, and that's it that's the same nonprofit that the the shoe is going to go yeah to, so exactly okay. so anytime you buy buy the shoe it'll be available on earth day phenomenal uh running shoe or walking and running shoe by newton running company one of the best shoe companies i think out there and uh uh every, uh, 50 dollars from every shoe goes to a, Learning artists and kids and food. Right, and then you can take the white and, and black. And I can get, and get rid of these things, up, yeah. and, uh, and then maybe that's the guy. That was the message the guy was trying to send me. <laughs> yeah, like, we need to get some shoes, so. yeah. Okay, okay. So I just I, I I know we get the main points, but just with the last minute, like, is it so cool working at or like being on the board at SpaceX? Like, like, do you sit ah, there thinking? So cool about what are you talking about? But how do you go to Mars and stuff like really that? Cool. Like, so you can you really tell cool. a cool story about when you guys? Were but I will say that that one of the most interesting experiences I had was. So this is in 2006. We went out to the Mid Pacific, and I didn't know there was such a thing as the Mid Pacific. Yeah, yeah, right, there's actually a Mid Pacific, <laughs> and it's where they—it's these atolls where they use uh, they use it as target practice for cruise miss, for ICBMs from California, and they'll shoot them from the coast of California, and they'll land, and you can sit on a bench, and watch the ICBMs oh, land in the middle yeah. of the atoll, and it is one it's of the most wild. terrifying and amazing experiences you can ever, ever, ever possibly understand. And, uh, and there's, a, there's the benches, like you guys have benches here to watch the podcast. They have benches there to watch the ICBMs land in the middle of the ocean. That's crazy. Isn't that incredible? That Not in the, it's in the atoll. So you, if they miss, you've got a real problem. I mean, the, their and target practice is pretty intense. I, I read you. So you were, like, at, when 9-11 happened, you weren't that far from where it happened. And you were doing food stuff for them, too, right, for the firefighters? Is yeah, that what I was reading? Uh, I think one of the greatest experiences I ever had in my life was I, I was. I lived right downtown, so we had this incredible opportunity to cook for the firefighters, myself and a few friends who who were below the security curtain, and didn't have to get special approval. And so we would cook every day for six weeks for these firefighters, driving ATVs with coolers of some of the best food you can imagine. These chefs were fantastic, and uh, feeding the firefighters right downtown with the huge piles of some melting metal. I mean, it was it was. Truly yeah. incredible. So cool. You have so many cool stories. Yeah, give them a round of applause. That was good. Okay. Uh, very last question is: Do you do you think you're going to step foot on Mars in your lifetime? Uh, I think the probability is high. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get this guy a certificate of awesome, please. If we could please bring that out. All right, I think you deserve this. One, for thinking you're going to step on Mars, and two, because you made it in a loop on this thing. Awesome. So thank you so much for coming out and talking to us. Awesome. Everybody, check out the thank foundation. Um, actually, give me a URL. Where can they go if they want to? Oh, yeah, to? so uh, tkc.org, the kitchen community.
and uh, you'll be able to learn all about what we do. And in, a, in about 10 days, you can go to zappos.com and buy the shoe. Okay, sounds good. And we're we'll checking awesome. it out on Earth Day. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's great. Yeah.